Well, I'll try it. I mean, Saturday night, everybody I know is out of town. I don't got a date. So there I am. There you are. Alone on a Saturday night. So naturally, I'm bored. Of course, naturally. So I'm just sitting there. Yeah? I'm sitting there staring at my finger. Your finger? Yeah, my finger. And I'm thinking to myself, layers. Layers? Yes, layers. What are you getting at? Well, I'm looking at my fingernail. Yeah. And I'm thinking, uh, that's protecting something. <laughs> protecting. Yeah, I'm thinking, like, uh, there's something underneath that. Uh-huh. I mean, uh, <laughs> don't you ever get that way? What way? You know, sitting around, and an idea slams into your brain, and you think, uh, <laughs> wow. Hey, you know, like, um, man, squirrels, they store nuts in their cheeks. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I see. You know, little interesting thoughts that uh, tiptoe into your mind that you never found fascinating before. But all of a sudden, they put you in a state of, um, a state of... Fascination? No. Fright? Mm-mm. Shock? Mm-mm. Constipation? <laughs> sort of, but uh, state of, uh, you know what I mean. Wow! There's no other way to describe it. I think I see. Wow. Exactly. So I'm just sitting there, staring. At your finger. Yeah. And um, I think to myself, there's something underneath that fingernail. Yeah. I mean, the, the nail, the, the fingernail, you know, it's just one layer. Layer. Yeah, I see. It's just the top layer, and there's something underneath that. Mind you, I'm thinking this. I'm thinking, uh, what's under that? Another layer, perhaps? Another layer on top of a layer on top of a layer, perhaps? Does it ever end? Who knows? I don't. Hey, maybe there's nothing under that. Nothing? Nothing at all. Who knows? I don't. I didn't either. And uh, permit me to justify my, well, let me explain. I'm not some psycho, okay? I'm not some mental case who needs help, but you gotta understand. What? You gotta understand my state of, um... Shock? No, mind. State of mind is mine. You were bored. That's right. <laughs> I was alone and bored on a Saturday night, and I'm staring and thinking... About later. Yeah, that's right. About how there's something underneath your fingernails. Yes. So. Yeah. So I grabbed the tip of my finger. You did? I did. I grabbed the tip of my finger. Yeah. We pulled it all the way back till it snapped. Oh, no! Yes. That's disgusting! I did it. Oh, God! It hurts. <laughs> what is it? I feel your pain. <laughs>
do you mean, out? Huh? Out? Yeah. Out. Listen, I'm not talking regular pain here, Greg. Of course. I'm not talking sissy pain. No. I'm not talking uh, trip in the schoolyard, scrape your knee, shed a tear. No. no. I'm not talking lick an envelope, get a paper cut, apply a Band-Aid. No. I'm talking about real pain. Yes. Man pain, I call it. Yeah. Nitty gritty hurt my childbirth pain. That's right. You know, fingers clenched over armrests, having apocalyptic vision pain. On a Saturday night. <laughs> Pathetic way to spend it. How'd I what? What were you doing Saturday? Me? You. Of course, you. Who am I talking to? Myself? I was home. You were? I was. Shit, then why didn't you call me? I don't know. Two guys alone, you know, could kind of share our misery. I didn't think of it. You should have called me. Sorry. You sure you didn't go anywhere Saturday night? Nowhere. Not, not even the liquor store, pack of cigarettes, or something? No. I don't remember. You don't remember? I was sleeping. Okay. Yeah, as far as I remember. Why aren't they good, right? Well, shouldn't they be here by now? They're late. <laughs> yeah, they're very late. And I want to play. Well, let's play. What? Forget about them, slackers. We'll play without them. You can't play poker with two people. Yes, you can. Well, okay, okay, you can, sure, but it's more fun with four. Look, they ain't here and we both want to play, so let's play, huh? I don't know. Poker with two people is like... War scene in the sand. No. It's like, um, horse racing. With an eating. Not really. It's like, uh, freaks. Eating a Caesar salad. Huh? <laughs> I'm saying it's not right. So? It's ridiculous. Let's play over here. talking, uh, morality? What about it? I'm saying, well, I'm asking, is there an absolute morality? I don't know. I 
Yeah. You don't know where he's at. Who's it? I don't know. You see, um, alone on a Saturday night, you get to thinking about some of these things. Universal uh, blah blahs, moral dilemmas. More. Yes, I mean, um, would you kill a guy? Have I? I mean, would you? you kill a guy? Yeah. You mean like murder someone? Yeah. Kill a guy, you're saying? Yeah. Would you do it? I don't think so. No? No. You wouldn't kill a guy? No. Under no circumstances? Circumstances? Some bitch has got your mother at gunpoint. What? I'm saying hypothetical. Pretend. Pretend. Okay. Pretend this guy's got your mother by the throat. He's gonna slit her neck with a knife. I thought he had a gun. I changed it. So he has a gun and a knife? No, 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 just a knife. Well, what happened to the gun? He never had the gun. So which is it? What? Does he have a gun or a knife? What the hell's the difference, Graham? Gun, knife, bazooka, candlestick in the study? Whatever! <laughs> Gun, knife, depending on which it is, I'd probably react differently. No, you wouldn't. I would. You wouldn't. I would. Shut up. You wouldn't, all right? A weapon's a weapon. The fucking point is, Graham, this guy's got your mama. He's got a weapon. Okay. All right. All right. Question is, you kill him. Kill him. Kill him to save your mother. My mother. If you knew you could save your mother by killing the guy, you'd do it. I don't know. for God's sake. You tell me you don't know? Yes, I don't know. I'm not above. Above what? Above killing a guy. No. No. But the law. Whose law? The law. Wouldn't you worry about that? The law? Yes. Wouldn't you worry about the law? Well, I mean, sure, I'll do what I can to cover up the crime. I'm not stupid. I know laws exist, but I'm saying I'm not going to stay up nights sweating, worrying about what could happen to me, and so on and so forth. So you're saying you wouldn't worry about the law? That's right. You wouldn't worry about getting caught? That's right. But even so, moral. Moral what? What do you mean? Moral. Well, moral? Yes. Wouldn't you worry about that? About moral? If you murder someone. I'm not going to wrestle my conscience over it. No. You aren't? I wouldn't. You wouldn't even think about it. Moral? Yes. Moral? Yes. Frank, why? I ask you. Why? Who's moral? What do you mean? Well, I mean, you ask me if I'm going to worry, if I'm going to think about moral. But I'm asking you. Who's moral? What do you say? Whose morals do I live by? I don't know. Mine. Yours. I live by my morals. You do. Everybody does. Everybody lives by your morals. <laughs> no. I'm saying, listen, I'm saying that everybody, every single human being lives by his or her own morals. But what? Some people, you know, belong to religion. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, they're religion. Yes, there are commandments and rules to live by and so on and so forth. But all they are are guys. Religion? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We, as people, accept what we accept as individuals. I think you're thinking about a collective something. Rather, a, a natural, if you will, a natural, uh, natural law. But I'm telling you, collective nothing, natural nothing, I'm who I am, and you're who you are. I don't know. I mean, what are you saying? That people that don't got religion have no morals? No. No, of course not. We set our own standards. All of us picking and choosing what we want, you know, from, from our families, and just, just from religion and whatnot, and, and our environment, blah, blah, blah. Yes. It's um, a moralistic buffet of life. I see. Everybody's different, right? I guess. I'm just saying, for me, this whole thing, what you call morals, is the least of my worries. I gotta think about criminal societal law long before I ever come close to this whole internal conscience crap. I see. I gotta tackle human law first. And even from that end, I don't worry, because 
I got it covered. Don't get it wrong. Oh, you do? Yeah. You got the law covered. Yeah, for the minute, right? How? How? Yeah. Let's say I want to kill you. You do? Well, let's say. Do you? I'm saying nice to pretend. Pretend? Yeah. Okay. Let's say I want to kill a guy. Alright. What do I do? Go to his house and bash his head in with a camel? Do you? Where's the logic in that? I do not know. You don't know because there is no logic in it. See, I do something stupid like that, and evidence would be spread out all over the damn place like a bottle of ketchup fell off a two-story building. Right? I want to kill a guy. I gotta think about it. I have a plan. Yes. Plan. Yeah. I want to kill a guy. I don't go to his house. No. No. I want to kill a guy. I do the opposite. You do? The opposite. I invite him over to my place. Make him come to my place. How would you get him to do that? I don't know. I invite him over for dinner or drink, whatever. Poker, maybe. <laughs> Poker? Poker, dinner, drink. Make no difference, but that's the general plan. I invite the guy over. Yeah. I, uh, Get him to trust me, act like a gracious person, sometime during the night, murder him. You would? I'd set him. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. That's him. I guess it is him. That's insane. And what? Insane, I'm saying. Why would you want to kill this guy? There's no motive. Motive? A murder without motive is insanity. Well, <clears throat> let's say there is a motive. There is? Yeah, let's say there is. Okay. Let's say I said him. Let's say, oh, I'm trying to extract information from this guy. You are? Yeah. Let's say this guy knows something I want to know. Yeah. But I say I mean I said pretend. Pretend. Right. Um let's say I committed a crime. Okay? Okay. We're pretending, and, right? Yes, pretend I committed a crime, okay? So I'm um stealing. I ask you, do I want anyone to see me? See you what? Do I want anyone to see me steal this stuff? Oh no. No, of course not. I don't want anyone to. No. So let's say somebody does. Somebody does. Let's say I think somebody does. You think so? You think so? Let's say I'm stealing stuff from this store, and um, I see a car pass by as I'm loading this stuff into my van. Your van? Yeah, let's say I'm loading this stolen stuff into my van, and I see this car pass by. Okay. And since it's not the police, I'm relieved. Naturally. <laughs> Naturally, I'm relieved. But wait. Wait, what? I look at this car. Yeah. And I wonder. Does this person see me? Of course. I mean, my natural question would be, did the driver see me? Yes, you'd want to know that. Of course. If this person saw you or not. Yeah, but hey. Yeah. I think I recognize this car that passes by. You do? I think it's someone I know. You do? Now, um, it's complicated. I guess. Listen to this. If this car doesn't belong to someone I know, if I Never seen this car before in my life? I forget about it. You do? If I see me or not, it doesn't matter because there's nothing I can do about it. If no. This car is just some random car that I've never seen before. There's absolutely nothing I can do about it. It happened, it happened. Okay. But let's say I know the owner of this car. Or at least I think I do. Okay. Then the question of whether or not this person saw me or not is important. It is? <laughs> because since I do know this person. There's something I can do about it. You do? Cover my tracks. Yes. To tie up these things? Yes. Why? Why? So I do not. No. Why would I want to get caught? Why would you? <laughs> so, see, this person. This person, the one driving the car. Yes. So I invite the guy over. Um. I invite this guy over to my apartment. And there's a guy? Well, it's a guy, girl, kangaroo, whatever, it doesn't matter. But let's say it's a guy. And I invite him over for dinner, a drink, him a poker, whatever. All right. I invite him over, playing poker, and at the same time, I've said 
same time, I try to extract information from the guy. Yeah, I try to find out what he knows. What he knows? Yeah, I want to find out how much he knows, if he saw me or not, and so on and so forth. Of course. To, um, in a sense, get underneath. Yes. Find out what he's thinking. It's important. Mm -hmm. And. And. And if he knows too much. If he knows too much. If he knows too much. I'm in trouble. Naturally. Because it's my thing. Only I should know about it. Of course. Mm -hmm. And the question. How much is too much? How much is too much? Well, he saw you loading this stuff. Is that too much? Maybe. So let's say there's more. There is? Well, yeah, make things a little more complicated. Okay. Let's say I'm loading all these electronics in the You're loading right? electronics? <laughs> electronics, hot dogs, whatever. So while I'm loading all these electronics, I'm also loading a body. Wait a minute. <laughs> a body? A, a dead body. Where, where'd you get a dead body? Well, I specify. Let's say while well, I'm stealing stuff from this electronics store, this uh, security guard sees There's a security guard? Yeah, let's say there is, and he sees it. He does? He tries to stop me. Does he? Charges after me, and we get into a fight. Now, I don't want her to drive me, but I'm telling you, Graham, he needs to tackle me like a football. And on top of that, he bites my feet. So, in the heat of the moment, <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> what? Shoot the guy. With what? What do you mean with what? I haven't got a fucking camera around my neck, Graham. You shoot him with a gun? That's right. And it's probably the best course of action anyway. I guess. I had to kill the guy no matter what. To cover your tracks. Yeah. Tie up loose ends. Mm -hmm. To not get caught. Yes. So you got to kill the guard. Exactly. Let's say I shoot the guard. Can I, uh, can I leave his body there? Can you? Well, I, I mean, I can, sure, but if the police have a body, they have more to go on. Yeah. Make it easier for them to get to me. Yeah. So, the best I can do is... Yes. Gotta get rid of the body. Yes. Uh, so I load it into my van with the electronics and dump it in the lake. The body? So I dump the body in the lake, sure. Now, they might find it, but it gives me time. Yes. Yeah. The, uh, the stakes are higher. What stakes? Stakes are much higher. What stakes? Stakes to my particular situation. Oh, you're the guy that drove by and saw you? I don't know if he saw me or not. Did he? Well, I don't know. That's what I want to find out. Invite him over to find out. If he saw you. If he saw me. Or not. Or not. <laughs> I see. That's what I'm saying about the stakes. You know, I stole some radios, some guy saw me, yeah, I worry a little. Okay. But you throw in, I kill the guy, and it's a whole different board game. Pieces stack differently. Yeah. It's talking murder. Homicide. Killing person. Taking someone's life. Knocking him off. Rubbing him out. <laughs> off in the guy. Sending him to his grave. Making me a maker. Dead. 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 <laughs> exactly. So you need to know. Of course. If this guy saw you or not. Yeah. But hey. I see. I mean. I mean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I want to find out because I know the guy. You know? Huh? Well, let's say I didn't know this guy who mm. might have or might not have seen me. Okay. Whether he saw me or not, I don't want to risk it, so if by some chance I track down this guy, I'm going to ice him without a second thought. Yes. But since I do know this guy, the guy who may or may not have seen me, things are different. Of course. It's a whole different nursery rhyme. Yes. Yeah. So, the guy I know, if he didn't see me, what's the point of killing him? What is the point? There is no point. I don't see a point. You see a point? I do not. I mean, it'd be a waste. Yes. Of human life. Of a human being. Yes, and I have morals. Yes, you do. And <laughs> well, why kill the guy? Oh, you? I wouldn't. Of course not. But hey. Yeah. If you did see me, then it's a whole different landing strip. <laughs> <laughs> I 
mean, he might be my friend and all, but there is a risk. As there is in life. So, possibility. Stability, yes. Chance. Chance, right. Chance that the guy might tell the cops. Yes. Snitch to the police. Yes. Or maybe it might just slip out. It might. I mean, this guy's talking to his friends, you know, blah, blah, blah. He's not thinking. It flies from his mouth like vomit. Didn't even know. <laughs> Could happen. And the question. Yeah. Why take the risk? Why? Right. Right. So, I invite this guy over. To extract information. Yeah. So, we're um, doing what we're doing. We are? I mean, they are? I mean, I'm better. Of course. Um, so, I'm asking him questions to see if I can figure him out. To see if he knows anything. Yes, yeah, hopefully not. And if he does? And if he does, if there's even the slightest possibility that he knows anything at all, I gotta take care of him. Yes. I gotta take care of him. Yes. Even though he's your friend. Well, friendship is invalid in cases like this. <laughs> <laughs> but he's your friend. You should be able to trust him. <laughs> That's the sorry state of the world, Graham. It's a goddamn shame. You cannot trust anybody. I mean, that's the way it is. I see. You see? I mean, I understand. <laughs> well, what if this guy figures out what's going on? What's going on? What if this guy figures out what you're doing and what you plan to do? How would he? I don't know. Let's just say he does. Hypothetical now. Um. Well, you see, uh. Let's say uh, I've got a cover. Got what cover? My tracks. Your tracks? How? Well, you see, I figure, uh. If this guy finds me out, he'd probably. What? What? Probably try to. Get out of here. Or he try to attack me, hold me here until the police come. Yes. I mean, it would only take him what? What? It would only take him a few seconds to do what he's got to do. Yes. A few seconds, that's all he needs. Just a few seconds to blow my plan to hell. Yes. So let's say what I've been saying. Well, what have you been saying? Let's say I've got my tracks covered. Oh, okay. Let's say I know that he might try to attack me and get out of here in person. All right. I need to be quicker than he is. You have to be. Yes, I must. So I gotta be prepared before him. Of course. So, what do I gotta do? Prepare yourself. Exactly. <laughs> so I have this gun. A gun? Yeah, I have this gun. The uh, same one I used on the car. You do? I said? Uh, no, I mean in real life. Well, uh, no, no, it doesn't matter. I, I'm saying, hypothetically, I have this gun taped under my chair, hidden. You do? Say pretend. Well, of course pretend. Pretend. Yeah. Let's say I've got this thing taped underneath my chair. Your chair? Yeah. By some chance I need it, did it take me seconds to grab it and fire it? Two seconds to pop. Wait. The guy wouldn't be able to get away even if he tried. He's dead in a heartbeat. Uh-huh. What do you think death is like? I don't know. I'd really rather not find out until the time comes. <laughs> yeah. But, um, you see, I think about this thing. All the time? No, no, just when I'm bored. 